Rex now want to follow through on that. Fault line will slow down Hooker where the emphasis is actually for DRX right now. I like this, the kind of swing of the pendulum, first contact towards Long and the pressure there, but now they swing through and Zest with a sharp shot. Takes down Jojo and the site's theirs. And they've got to know they're still players, tucked in over by Octagon as well. Buzz set up for it too. Waiting on the other side of that smoke will be not just one but two players. Support en route as well, and I do wonder if Stax does here consider, note any of this. And already this is looking very, very good for DRX. It's looking very clean as well. Black was desperate for it, and he's not going to find it. Meteor now, the last one standing in a 1v5. And man, the odds are not looking pretty. Stax slowly creeping in. He wants this, and there it is. It's all his. Flawless. Hoppy gets himself into a position. We'll find the first and the second as he Black Wiz will fall. The fault line is coming in half a second behind the pace here. The utility investment. Look how much Beautiful. is just to smother the site here, allow safe passage. And it's lovely, isn't it? If you think if you think about it, even just you know, in the most simplistic terms. <laughs> okay, Stax, Jojo fair again, enough. Man. Fair enough, dude. That's that's unfortunate, Jojo. It feels bad, but. Again, just five even planted. just the, you know, the five utility coming in, clearing corners, making it so much more comfortable on those spectres and you know odds and ends they still have, which is substantially better than the other side. But it clears these ratty little corners that could have had potentially something like that waiting. However, we look at what remains. It's not a great deal, and it's even less now. Meteor just with that recovered spectre and four to try and clear on the way out. Feels like more of a formality than any sort of real odds here. As you can already see, they've pretty much got him locked in. Double stack here. Zest will be the one to find the headshot, but a well considered round. of Laz overwatching on the posters. And I'll be back to business. Oh, Zest bodies. An upgrade there as well. Yes, and, and it's and it's available. You could get your hands on it. It's not a million miles away. Can't be policed too easily either. Yes, can be watched from CT, but RB's gonna be probably putting that together as well. Oh, he's away. Look at this man's moves. He's quick to it. But his hand all dealt with. Maybe even caught a glimpse of another player to Otuka, but no surprises there. And Buzz gives him the drive by. Jojo this time desperate for it, but they actually line up. The timing's good for Blackwiz to swing through. Finds the pinch perfectly. And this ain't pretty, but it's getting the job done. And finally, they've dealt with him a little disjointed on the way out there. If it's not for Blackwiz, it feels like DRX have passage once again onto B side. Found the entry pretty easily. Again, this timing of the breach utility from Jojo just slightly off once again. I'm not sure why it's Terry Alley to be the one and Stacks to come through. The flash actually perfect here really and look at nice. that. Rewarded for it. Clean. it well, they've noted him. We do know that there's the rotation, right? Meteor's made his way over. That was off the back of the two players going exploring, but now they're going to thread the needle. This timing could be everything. Maybe they could at least catch something. No zest, all too aware. Gonna punish on the way through and stacks again. Notes another. Couldn't quite deal with it that time, but the plants coming in. DRX hyper mobile away there approaching. It's a meteor just left towards CT. Yeah, I mean Buzz just finds that second kill at the most awkward timing behind it. Not just leaving meteor on an island, but no. here we haven't. No, and that that is something. Very limited amounts. Two rifles, the bulldog and the full-on rifle there. And you can see meteor is going to try and get himself into. Maybe a position to do some damage, but again, slippery DRX, not going to give you an easy fight, and Buzz going to find comfort in all that mayhem. As again, we are down to two. It's not looking likely. Well, the keeper flawless here, it's just going to be such a an overwhelming advantage here. Buzz actually will fall, and Zemfrey finds it. Sax. Find that one, actually, just trying to get the <laughs> half stick through. Kind of stack the player towards long and away goes RB, tries to find one and sends it, couldn't quite get meted, does a little bit of chip damage, spots him on the way out. Knows Jojo was nearby, but Jojo still does what he needs. Finds RB and the trade comes in, and DRX takes the site. Jojo's gone, Meteor's still alive, but it is just so quick and it's so concise. So he's M3 gonna pop his total force in response as well. Try and make something from this retake. Meteor tagged up 61 HP already. Still lots of utility to work for for DRX as well. And this mod is going to slow Holy. things down. They have to commit. What? Oh, the Zest is caught sleeping. Yeah, absolutely perfect timing. And Marco could be doing this perfectly. Though, yeah, he is. It's Marco, <laughs> of course. Plays the smoke to a T. And now the final player makes it through from CT. And Marco greets him as well. DRX. Very close. Do really well here. Yeah, stunner of a shot. Plus the damage backs away, but it's instantly evened out on the other side of the map. Now there was a second string to it. Zest. Fair enough, 40 HP. Well, it's all on Meteor. 
They've got to know he was around here earlier. Could have rotated. Didn't. It's a classic, and it's done very nicely. Upgrade as well, but the plant comes through. That's the investment in. on the side of Northeption to try and prevent any early control in this post-plant scenario. But the Viper's bit goes up. It's a th straight 3v3, and it give the advantage here to DRX when you look at the minimap. Oh, yeah. It's, it's going to mitigate what Black was trying to do, potentially. He's still going to have to work his way forward. Again, time is so favorable now. Stax needs to be a little careful here. Still going to hold his own. Takes away Black Wiz from the equation. This could get interesting, though. Nope. Really? Uh, didn't spot him. D uh, Hello? OK. OK. Sure. Maybe there was some method to the madness that I didn't realize. Indicates standard. out. Exactly. It's this conditioning already coming to yeah, fruition for DRX. You should call it fear of the nade. If you did the nade four times in a row, they'd fear it on the fifth. They'd still keep worrying about it. If you keep doing that same utility, they're still going to keep reading into it. However, they've explored beyond, but Buzz is still connected his shot. Traded out Meteor is going to do damage from the back lines, but by now you can see that sp spike plant is coming in. RB's out, and we're in a post plant. No, here, actually, no utility for them to sit back and play lineup. So, obviously, Stacks looking eager to try and find a kill inside this smoke. And actually, the Rolling Thunder comes through, might give it up. Huge timing for RB. There's nothing found on the back of it, Lauren. No, you're right, Marco. Tucked in the corner, never got punished. <laughs> Meteor, straight up zero vision. And just to come back. To and well, we're going walk out. Zenfri. Hmm. Okay. Desperately trying to get himself towards B side will be revealed. And he's going to paint a, a picture here, and DRX fancy themselves to come through. Actually, oh. the stun actually does land onto Zen Free, and he's punished for it. Yeah, he is. Now they've noted one more towards CT. I don't know about the second. The Seekers could have almost given them a weird perspective, but they're they're so hyper vigilant towards Meteor, who's just on the other side of this. Buzz, one pixel out of place, and that could be the player gone. <laughs> Doesn't need to see it. Fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough. It's one of those days. And coming towards the site, force a little bit of utility, and there it is. So already going to know his position, forcing him way towards the back of the site. Oh, he slowed down on the roll. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. It works. And Spike Plan going to come in. Again, this is. It's, it's so meticulous from yep. DRX. Investment this board. I mean, look at the snake bar on the other side of it as well. So difficult for North Epson to find their way back in this, but Zemfri actually find a fine one through the smoke. But even trades are still difficult to make it work here. Meteor and Blackwood still need to something, you know, do something beyond what we've seen so far, and I just don't know if they've got it left in them. Finds one, but then look at the back line. You've still got Buzz there and Zest, and they're not going to give it up. DRX, large and very much in charge. Because you need a solid win, again, for them. If you're looking at it this way, in my mind, you want to come in and kind of get a play to your own standard. Oh, it's just crazy. DRX again. never exposed themselves in the early rounds. Nope. It's it just, it's I don't know I'm saying. Yes, they need to put Meteor in a position to find it, value. From, of course. But it's so hard against DRX. Yeah, it's, again, it's not one of the teams that will give you those chances, those opportunities. It's not like anyone's surprised by Neon coming out. And you know what you're up against. But DRX, just by default, are exceedingly strong at catching that sort of thing. And they have been... The entire time, I don't feel as though they've been caught off once by any of these attempts and forays at aggression that we've seen come through. Michael would just miss the timing, I'm sure, but it's not really played a factor too much in some of these rounds, and it looks like that's just going to tuck up. He's got no weapon to upgrade to anyway, so with the sheriff, he plays it through with. To deal with the trap coming through as DRX find themselves. Straight off the B site, Jojo. Uh, he gets revealed by the trap ahead of the smoke as well. Zest wise to it. Also playing inside all deep. Early progress outside showers here. A very deep hole for the day. Does catch Zest off guard. Stacks has entertained it, but actually, Marco with the swing through. Trade one scrappy back through, but look how far RB's got. There, there's still such good progress being made, even in that scrappy fight that did happen out the back of the shower. Now, look at the numbers game, though. There is still a chance in this, but they've got to kind of recorrect that they're just out of this game. They still need to be fighting the good fight for this and got to keep themselves poised. Yeah, comes up off the plant, yep. Great timing. And again, further problems could be presented. Uh, well, let's see if they can find anything here. Still so far away from this as well. They're so anxious of these close angles. And Marco Marco. The first and the second. Yeah, looking solid as a rock. Black Wiz, though, the last one alive. And a 1v2. 
a tap on the spike, but no one really overstepping. Comfy work, DRX. Charles, yeah, we'll start there. We'll start on the very, <laughs> yeah, the start very the start. Right, let's, let's run it back. Let's see what we can do. As we do, the Frenzy is coming out, and I want to see Meteor activated in this half. I need to see him being integral in this approach, and that's not a bad beginning. Lots of utility. I mean, you can see complete contrast here with the fault line coming through, everything to try and put Meteor in the driving seat, find this opening engagement. Actually, the deep investment of Smokes. North Epson, the perfect reader. They have full sight control here with Buzz falling. There's no Four strings retake. to this either, Mike. It's all CT, essentially one towards heaven. Three going to swing on through. They clear the close. No one's going to be tucked away at this point. You've got Jojo maybe first contact if they try and get through towards it. But it's RV to swing a little deeper. Finds one, spots another. They've got to know there's problems now. They're going to force them to try and take the fight because that Diffuse finally gets stops. DRX, though, no pulling them out of these deeper positions. And this is... This is done, Mike. It's done. Put a bow on it. Wrap it up. To come through as well. Okay. RB gets a little bit of chip so damage on him. But you're right, yeah. 30 seconds. 30 Marco seconds just going to play in the corner, tuck himself away. Smoke going to come in, free fire on it. Here's the steps, takes the kills. That's already two gone. Now stacks on the swing. The timing is gorgeous. And as is that scoreline for DRX fans, 13 to 1. That is how you win a game. And that is how you look like a favorite coming into this. Now that's how you set your own standard. You're a team that can make deep runs should be winning like that. Absolutely. It's just an absolute clinic in the second map here from DRX. And playing actually, you know, just to lead on to what I was talking about in the first half, what Yinsu mentioned there, adapting a, a sort of play style we've seen from Fnatic kind of trying to employ yes. here on Bind, and it suits DRX down to the T in terms of mitigating some of this early risk on their attacking half, making sure that they can rely on the strength of this default. It looked really, really